inflation down, but will support those people to have healthy, productive, fulfilling lives. Neil Hamby. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The UK government recently confirmed that Scotland generated and sent south 35 billion kilowatt hours of energy in 2021. Ah. That number will rise to 124 billion in less than eight years' time. Mm. For this multi billion pound bounty, Scotland will see no revenue, no manufacturing or supply chain jobs. In our land of energy plenty, why should our people be cold and hungry and businesses failing as a result of his government's robbery? So what has the Prime Minister to say in defence of this naked exploitation of Scotland's people and its resources? Mr. Mr Speaker, actually, this government is a strong supporter of Scotland's North Sea oil and gas industry. And actually, it's the economically illiterate policy of, I think, almost all opposition parties to prohibit any new exploration of fossil fuels in the North Sea, which would have us then pay billions of pounds to foreign energy companies and then ship that energy here with twice the carbon emissions. It is a completely absurd policy, Mr Speaker, that's bad for our security, it's bad for our economy, and that's why we're better off with the Conservatives in charge. Thank you very much indeed, Mr Speaker. The island has been getting